Good afternoon, everybody, in integrated reading and writing. Uh, some people have looked in the course and kind of jumped back out and um, don't stress. Uh, the course is uh, being developed, which means I am taking out some assignments so that you will not be overloaded. Um, is it, you should be also taking my uh, 1301 uh, 701 English Composition course. So you should be enrolled in both of my sections. If you're in my Integrated Reading and Writing, you should also be in my 1301 course. Uh, there's no books for this course. Do not worry about it. There'll be excerpts and passages from books, and I will provide all of that. So you do not need any books for Integrated Reading and Writing. It's basically for me to help you to get through English 1301, which is a co-requisite. So if you're in this class, it's usually because of a TSI test. And I have in the course that uh, you need to fill out a big long form. You don't need to do that. It, that has changed. All I need to know is it's private um, and you would just put in that assignment, you know, in the feedback box. I'll make a text box and just put your scores in there if you know them. If you have not taken the TSI and you don't know your scores, um, you will need to take it uh, in, in the first week or so of class um, because you can pass out of this class. Uh, the TSI Scores do not always measure college readiness, motivation, and other things like that. You know, they're just scores on certain skills. And I would be trying to beef up those skills. So if you looked in the class and said, oh no, this is too much, don't worry about it. There is, looks like a lot is due by Saturday. Um, and I may be extending dates due dates and changing things up so don't go too far ahead. The first few weeks are, co are correct. And uh, if you notice, people have already jumped into the discussion board getting to know you and thanks for the photos. Uh, you and Aaron, uh, it's great. Yeah, so people jump in and have fun with it. Um, it's it's an easy thing to do, and there's a lot of little tiny things to do the first week, but they're easy. One assignment you get points for is to take a selfie, hold up an ID card next to your face like this, and um, that's all you do. Take a selfie with the card, just one photo and put your face next to it and that's all you do that's an assignment is due by saturday how easy is that uh, and if you have a school id card that's fine university or if you're a dual credit student uh, and have a high school card that's fine uh, you can use a driver's license just don't block too much out i need to see your name uh, the license number and expiration date. Yeah, I don't need your address. That being said, um, it's, oh, I also, you can also use a passport. If you don't have any of those things, contact me. And uh, what I was gonna say about the driver's license, people um, may want to X out, uh, block out their address or personal information, that's fine. Uh, but I do like to know in the getting to know you uh, discussion board where you're from, um, where you're taking the class from, what city. And it's good for me to know because when we had the great Texas freeze, I knew which cities uh, had no water, no power, uh, and who was where, and it made it easy for me to say, okay, these students did not come online this week because they can't, they have no power. Uh, so yeah, things happen. I am very flexible 
easy to work with and I want to get to know everybody and I will have live video conferences and so for now do the getting to know you uh, do the ID and I may give you more time on the discussion board where you need to post um, things that you're going to share with other people in the course or it'll be a journal so that is called uh, UNIV Thoughts uh, after watching the video of Brianna who's an actual student that I worked with and um, so you know don't don't feel too stressed because you've got co-requisite courses most of what I'm going to be putting in here is what you need to get through the major papers in the 1301 course so you won't have a lot of added work or homework. I'm working on that right now so like I said don't work too far ahead. The first few weeks are good and then it will just concentrate on uh, basic skills and skills to beef up your, your papers and enhance your writing and uh, so I'm sorry that uh, it took me a while to get to this video. There's been some new things going on and changes every day. It's a different world and uh, don't panic. You got this. Uh, and as I say, you can pass out of this course. If you take the TSI during the semester and you pass it, then you only need to stay in 1301 and you don't need to finish the this course. So yeah, ideally I would like to see everybody pass the TSI and not not have to be here um, because I think you're that they're, you're that good. I've had students do that before um, and some people don't mind the extra assistance and tutoring and um, that I, I can give but it is a course that is required if you're in it, you're required to take it and finish it and treat it like a course. Uh, the grades are satisfactory or unsatisfactory, and that'll be what would show on uh, your transcript. So uh, that's probably enough for you right now. And I'll come back and talk, fix up the course a little bit and talk to you a little bit more. I just wanted to say, hey, uh, Good to have everybody and uh